revered mother Lucille of the Chantry of Arlaison, third cousin of Duke Grat. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfells. And she throws the best parties. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. Milady Inquisitor, may I present Lady Couteau? And Lady Colombe. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies in waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Celine. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved. Not just in Orlé, but across Thebes. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks a tea black. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. Oh, do your people have no customs surrounding great occasions? How sad. By Orlesian tradition, Moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among Chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the Elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages, she is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briella are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. I'd like to know more about you. All of Orle knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Orle. But my cousin, Céline, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cough swept Balvoyer in 877. It killed thousands of children. Royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicale the First. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest. By rights, the crown should have passed to me. If you're the rightful heir, how did Celine become Empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Céline is a Valmont. Her honored father was my mother's brother. But she is the youngest. 
When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Celine outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. Just what are you claiming? Her crown or her head? If Celine loses her head, it will not be my doing. I want my empire. I do not wish harm on my cousin, but I would not weep at her demise. I have a question about the peace talks. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics, my friend. <sighs> what calamities befall us if they stop serving drinks early? If we're lucky, another war will break out. <laughs> I cannot abide the game, my friend. I prefer my enemies armed and facing me. I like clear winners and losers. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. Another time, friend. Inquisitor? Hello? Another time. Duke Gaspard has made a fortune at us. Negotiations are going well. How's your family in Valjavin? No complaints, my dear. No complaints. You are acquainted with my darling airplane. If the Inquisitor is here, 